what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to a brand new video hope you guys are all having a wonderful day before we get into this video i do want to do a quick disclaimer as you heard from the first clip of this video before i transitioned um this video is gonna involve a small crash so unfortunately me and my buddy dylan were riding um and as you'll see in just a second unfortunately things happen and he slid and crashed let's get into the video and let's kind of dissect what happened and see exactly what happened we'll be playing back the video little by little so that way we can see what happened um with dylan what happened with the car what happened with me and just kind of go through it i think that this video is going to help a lot in regards to again kind of like my last couple of videos of me driving and uh driving kind of dumbly i should say or less experience see, these are all videos for me just to help any new riders out just because um ever since then i've definitely made sure to pay attention a lot more to what's going on and be cognizant of my lean angle because as you guys will see in this video um the lack of lean or the lack of committing to the turn really did not go in our favor and by our i mean my friend dylan's and i do have to say that i did talk to dylan um this actually happened over a month ago i wanted to make sure that one he was cool with me recording this video and posting this online which he is um and two honestly i just wanted to kind of sit and simmer on it before i put it on youtube put it on instagram put it on uh tiktok and all the other social media so if you guys want to follow me on all social medias um instagram tiktok um x it's all spartan underscore 660 so let's go ahead and get into the video um so here this in this video honestly it was not planned to actually record a video of this we were actually out and about going to a lake here local in arkansas called beaver lake it was a wonderful wonderful ride unfortunately for more than half of the ride um when i put the gopro on i didn't put the gopro mount um that's on my helmet tight enough so i ended up falling down and honestly just recorded my chest for 90 percent of it i didn't realize until i ended up needing gas and we ended up stopping to get gas and then at that point uh i fixed it but um yeah unfortunately not a lot of that um video ended up being useful so here we um it is me well from back to front it is me dylan and then philip he's driving his car because he doesn't have his plates at this time um and he just left us needless to say so it's just me and dylan um but as you can see here let me backtrack just a little bit because we're about to uh get to the the crash let's backtrack a little bit let's go where are we at so we make this turn and we go to this off street um so me being me i always ride my own ride and i have to can and i cannot preach that enough that you guys need to ride your own ride because as you can see dylan and in this moment feels a lot more committed and it feels a lot more comfortable with the bike he's riding so he's just hauling um i'm taking the the turns around 40 50 ish he's probably taking them around closer to 60 ish miles per hour not 100 sure but he's definitely riding um have fun and then i believe here shortly i'm i speed up and i was contemplating passing it but i thought this is not a good idea let me not pass him let's just keep the formation i'm gonna let him lead and i'm be in the back so i let him go into formation again and here in just a few seconds this is where all everything just kind of goes downhill so we start to go around this left corner we start to lean you know of course you got to adjust your speed and here we start going into i believe this is the no okay so we we're just going straight shot again um i speed up then i realize we're gonna go through another kind of curve and turn so slow down again guys you guys need to make sure that you are committed and you guys slow down pre-turn and then you guys follow through so as you guys see there my speed kind of fluctuates because again i don't know what the turn ahead of me looks like and actually this is where the accident's gonna happen so he's turning 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 he doesn't lean enough and we'll, we'll kind of we'll kind of go through what happened and then as you can see he goes off the road and i just continue for a second and i'm just gonna pause the video for a second real quick i just uh, to give you guys a full rundown of what the heck's going through my mind in this moment there's so much going on in my mind like one um as you heard in the video uh one i see dylan just start to lean and then he goes off the road two um the car starts literally i can hear them 
stomp on their brakes and the the uh the video doesn't show it very well but they start to come into my lane so my reaction is just follow through but in my mind i'm like a i don't know what's going on with dylan but b i could have just been hit so i'm in full-on adrenaline mode i am panicking as heck um you won't hear me in the video panicking because i don't externally panic but i'm mentally and, and internally panicking so let's go ahead and hit uh start again on the video again um and then here i'm like wait a minute wait a minute I, i'm looking in my rear view mirror and i'm checking that and obviously where the chin mount and the gopro are located versus what i'm looking at don't match up very well so while i'm looking through the mirror um or my side mirrors the gopro doesn't see it and i realize that i don't see dylan coming and that's when it hit me he fell off the bike and probably is off the road. Let's hit play again. And this is where I start looking back. Um, I fully stopped in fourth gear and I am completely panicking because I'm like, okay, I need to get to the bike into first gear or neutral. Um, and the bike, depending on what gear you're on, sometimes you need to roll the bike in order to drop gear. So I'm kind of rolling the bike back and forth um, to get into that neutral or first gear. Um, and I can't get it into neutral. So I say, screw it, I'm gonna leave it in first gear. So I start rolling it forward. And at this point, I'm like, OK, this is taking too long. And actually, uh, through all this, I almost dropped my bike. I get off the bike and I'm leaning over it. So I'm on the left side and this is a downward hill. So I'm actually trying to push the bike upward um, and also trying to keep it on the road. So I don't actually uh, end up outside of the road as well. Finally, here you see that I finally get on the bike. And again, my adrenaline is running on a thousand. I am so just like, what the heck just happened? Like my mind's like, I could have gotten hit then you know dylan could have got hit and i'm just panicking and like all facets internally externally again i don't say anything i don't really do much um i do however want to say once i get up here the the couple that were in the car that um almost hit us so to speak um they were so nice uh, you'll hear that they kind of communicate with dylan they actually helped him pick up the bike and get it out of the grass or the ground um, and honestly, um, I'm going to pause the video here real quick, but honestly, they took it very, very well. They helped him, um, and just were very positive. It, it sounded like, uh, from the conversation that the dude, um, who was actually the driver, um, told them like, Hey, this happens. This has happened to me before he's a rider. So he totally gets what happened. Um, it just basically tells them to slow down and ensure that, um, he takes those corners at a lesser speed. But let's go back to what happened and let's kind of dissect the actual crash a little bit. So. Here we are. I'm going to put it right here just before we turn the corner. Um, and one thing that I kind of have to say that I, from my perspective, kind of can see. And also, I will pause it real quick, but also to give you guys some insight, I did speak to Dylan prior to all this or after all this happened to kind of get an analysis. Again, this happened about a month, month and a half ago. So it's been some time. Um, so everything I have to say may, may not be accurate, but it's as accurate as I recall. So hitting play again. So one of the things that we can concluded to was one, he didn't break soon enough. So he didn't set his speed soon enough. So he was going already in, into the corner braking, which if you're not experienced with trail braking, I would not recommend it. Also, when he was braking and leaning, he was braking with his front brakes. So here you'll see his brake lights turn on right about now as he's leaning, he's leaning, he's leaning. And then as he starts to brake, his bike kind of starts to um, pause it a little bit here and go back a little bit let's rewatch that again so here he's leaning he's leaning then there at this moment he starts to break um and for my instructors whenever i did the msf course it kind of told us um you know i'm no expert so i'm just going based off what i know but if we're leaning we should not be applying the brake because a lot of the time when the when you start braking while you're leaning uh, the bike naturally just wants to stand up straight and i think for my personal small experience i think that's what happened here so things to note one is he didn't set his speed. He wasn't at a low enough um, speed that he felt cr was good enough for him to start leaning and going into that corner, I feel like. Because as you can see, as he starts to add more lean, he adds more brake. Um, and me, I already set my my pace to 45 slash 50. That's where I feel comfortable leaning and actually going through these corners. Also, unlike him, if we back it up a little bit, I start on the outside and then gradually go to the inside as we start getting to that corner. But then I kind of move to the middle of the lane overall while he is hugging that yellow line, which makes it a lot easier for you to just go into that other lane. If you're that close to the line, I kind of um, was trying my best. As you can see here, he's a little further left and I'm a little further right. So I felt like this gave me enough room um, and enough 
feel for the bike and as you can see here i started leaning a little more than he is so, so i'm actually kind of going further right just because of how much lean i'm adding um and then again also i'm decreasing speed as well as doing um this so that way um from my experience they've mentioned they've mentioned or uh, people have mentioned that as you turn or as you lean if you let off throttle it actually shortens your um your span or it allows you to make a tighter turn so that's where i think i went well but again as you can see he's leaning over and applies the brakes now i 100 think that um as he starts applying the brakes and it's not just the rear brake it's front and rear um to feel comfortable at the speed he's in that bike literally just stands up and that's kind of that situation where it's a no-go and from there he just kind of recognizes that the car is coming and literally just goes off the road he did end up um braking too hard as soon as he hit the road and actually slid right i believe so him and the bike just fell right and just kind of slid through the, the the gravel or whatever um so yeah i'll kind of let this play out but ultimately guys i just kind of want to let you guys know please 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 for the love of god um do not do not take more risk for a reward for in this scenario the risk was so high and the reward was not enough like it, it just did to me it was not worth it it obviously he fell and got injured thankfully i think a week before this he bought a leather jacket with um level two armor which really helped um because if he didn't have that he probably would have some road rash because um the leather jacket while it saved him there is a hole in it which to me if he was wearing a textile jacket or even nothing 100 percent he would have road rash and have some injury unfortunately some bad things did come from this he really did end up hurting his shoulder uh and more importantly i think hopefully he doesn't watch this but i think he hurt his pride and i say this in a in a matter of after this he honestly felt or he seemed very discouraged of buying a bike the bike he's currently using is a buddy's um he a buddy who's letting him use it and after that he hasn't been on a bike he hasn't really been wanting to do bike things he hasn't been motivated to buy a bike or even go riding before this he would take this buddy's bike out all the time with me and be my riding buddy uh enjoyed me and after this it kind of seems like he kind of was like you know what i've got hurt and it's best just to stay away from it and not do anything with it which really is discouraging because uh if it wasn't for this i think he probably would have already bought a bike or if not would still be riding that bike with me which kind of makes me sad but i understand it he's choosing to be a smart person and not get into those positions but again guys i cannot express how crucial it is for you guys to be safe out there you know after this it really got me thinking and i ended up buying new gear i bought a new full leather jacket a new um ece 2206 jack or uh helmet i bought full gauntlet gloves i bought full boots um and honestly i know let me pause the video just to speak to you guys i know i'm running a 660 it's not a leader bike it's not the fastest bike in the world but honestly guys i enjoy life too much that i'd rather spend a thousand two thousand dollars to ensure that if i get hit if i slide if i fall that i am safe and sound then be cheap and potentially you'd lose a limb lose my life or whatever because honestly my life is way more worth than two thousand dollars that i didn't spend that much but i don't care to spend that on something like this so i encourage you guys wear all your gear and here at the end before we end the video i am gonna just play the next clip of what happened so after um the people had left i ended up putting down my helmet and just started talking to dylan heart of heart because honestly like i said um he seemed like he was okay he wasn't showing any signs of being worried or anything but like me mentally i i was You're as fine. you can see here I'm good, yeah. i lost it like my my mind literally thought i just lost one of my best friends he probably oh. could have got hit and uh, who knows what could have happened so my mind is he went to worst case scenario and yeah i'm just gonna let this play out um guys i, I just can't say enough please just ride the ride with gear be safe be smart don't go out speeding and ride within your skill limit because this definitely was not dylan's skill limit he felt confident and unfortunately his confidence versus the skill limit didn't match and he fell um needless to say i love him to death and i wish this didn't happen and you know i hope in the future he does get a bike and then that way we can ride as a group um but overall regardless of what happens what his decisions are what he does or doesn't do i'm just glad that he's here and to stand with us and to be able to make more laughs more memories so um 
I'm just glad that everything worked out that another day, but I hope again, I cannot stress enough. Please make sure you guys ride with your gear. That being said, I'm just going to let the, the remaining of this video play out. So peace out. Um, and if I don't say anything else, the video is just going to fade out to the end. And as always, guys, you guys got to grind to shine. That being said, peace out. I mean, the only thing you really broke this was the mirror and then I scratched up this thing. Well, I mean, you can buff all this out. And this, I'm sure, it's just... It just tightens. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't, I knew that you took that, but I didn't think you fell. Then I looked back and I was like, oh my god, no. You were in front of me, or behind me though. I do not. Because, so this, this is like, in my view, mm -hmm. we're going. I'm literally like this. I hear, and then I literally see the car. I see, then I look and I see you, and I'm like, oh no, this car's about to fucking I, hit me. I, I hit too much front brake and didn't lean enough. And then I saw them coming and then I freaked out because, well. Remember, rear brake for leading. Well, I, I was I was hitting it, and then I was like, wait, I need to hit more of my front brake because, well, I need to slow down quicker. Yes, but if you're already leaning, no. You're right. Because that, that's why, you, in my view, literally, so you're cornering, mm -hmm. and then I, all of a sudden, I see your bike just stood up straight. And that's probably when you started hitting your front, because like I told you, if you do that, at least what, I, again, no expert, but what I've been told, as soon as you do that, your bike, even when you're cornering, your bike's going to want to stand up straight. Now, I literally thought... If he didn't hit you, I, I, I seen him miss you, and then I was like, go left, and I How's just was like, oh. my jacket look? Honestly? Not bad. Okay. I hit the arm mostly, because yeah. I feel it on my elbow. I mean, I got it. I'm, I'm tight, so. Did you? Oh, shit. <laughs> We don't talk about it, we just fix her up. Right. She looks in second place. Did it fall out again? No. Oh. It will. Oh. It's an accident. And then I, I was, the freaking hell, I couldn't turn around. I was like, do I drop the bike? Don't let it go? Like, as soon as I look back, I see you like on the board. I was like, oh. Fuck, Fuck you! Don't ever do that again, dude. Giving me a fucking heart attack. How's my helmet? I don't think it hit. Not a scratch on it. Then banks out. I, I, you know what? I think the problem is we got Philly leading. Because he's fucking leaving us and I don't know where I'm going. It's freaking me out. So. Dylan! I ride know. your ride. Don't be following him. Yeah, but I don't want to get lost. It's you and me. I got my phone if we have to. Seriously, don't. You don't understand how much of a heart attack I was giving you, right? I doubt it. Well, Steven, 